Yo, what's up, Sexy Sam Lando Squad? The Golden Bolts are back. We won Video Creator of the Year last year, and I would love to do it again. So here is what you're going to want to do to help nominate me to win. This is not the voting section. It's the nomination section, but it is just as important as the voting. You're going to go to this website. It'll be the first link in the description. You're going to log in to your Smite account, and you're going to click Nominate. Then you are going to click streamer of the year and video creator of the year. Those are the only two categories that I think would fit me. And you're going to click next. Obviously, this is the streamer of the year section. So you're going to type in Sam the dude content link. You're going to go to my stream, which will be the second link in the description. You're going to copy that and you're going to paste it. Social media link. You're going to go to my Twitter and you're going to copy that and you're going to paste it. Additional information. He is the best content creator streamer and sexy goddess of all time and then you're going to click next and it's going to ask you for video creator of the year you're going to type in sam the dude again go to my youtube and copy that link it will be the third link in the description go to my twitter which will be the fourth link in the description all of the links are going to be there in order for streamer and video creator of the year and the way you have to type them in still the best goddess that's not goddess of all time and you're gonna click next and it's gonna say thank you for your submission <clears throat> and then you're gonna come to my stream or you're gonna comment on the video and you're gonna say hello sam dude i have done it i've nominated you for streamer and youtuber of the year and i will say thank you kind sir you're the best you're the best of us. I appreciate you, my man. On to the video. Thank you again in advance for nominating me, though. I really do appreciate it. Yo, what's up, sexy Sam Lender Squad? I hope you guys paused the video and went to nominate. If not, it's okay. It's okay. But I would love it if you did. And I would appreciate it so much. But enough of that let's get into the game i'm playing ravana with the new uh polar bear or polar beast skin i'm fighting pb and j pancakes which sounds honestly delicious so let me pump up the mmr thing for you real quick so you guys can see what we're working with or vice versa what we are not working with we'll see in a second are we working or are we not working let me let me see that mmr Ooh, we're working, baby. He's 2K. He's 2K and he's on a hunter. 2K MMR and he's on a hunter. We're working it this time, baby. You love to see those. Where's our boy at, though? There he is. I saw him. I saw him peep the corner. Do you see me? What up, gamer? No! Bro. There's no shot. He got Boomba's dagger. He got Boomba's dagger. And he got the red buff, too, with that Boomba's dagger. That extra damage. Ooh, this skin... Is a lot of theatrics, it seems. It's very theatrical. Its abilities are so out there and everywhere, you know what I mean? Um, I would love to have this. Um, I have mannequins. And I have shell, so I'm hoping... It's enough. I'm hoping it's enough. It's enough, baby. Let's go. He got thorns. Now that's a weird champ. I don't know why you'd go thorns there. I don't know why you would ever go thorns, especially on a Chiron early game. Maybe you're expecting your passive to carry with that passive healing you're getting, but I'm not exactly sure. That's kind of crazy. It's a kind of crazy fight to take, but either way, he did take it and I did get the kill. And that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So instead, <clears throat> he's going to go get some uh, some minions over there killed. The XP camp. He's going to go kill those guys. And I will be on my merry way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'll be on my merry way back to base. 
in order to buy tier 2 transcendence and a couple of potions to sustain myself backed up he's obviously going transcendence as well he's gonna go very power based <clears throat> he's chiron that's normally what chirons do uh let me see here i have decided i do not want you to hit me in the head all right i i definitely fight this we fight this a thousand percent of the time he never kills me here he never kills me oh my god minions please archers no archers no archers no please okay nice and that's a second blood baby that's a second blood we're we're feeling good we're feeling good right now nothing's gonna stop me from this feeling i'm feeling good hallelujah i'm not it's not raining men there's no men raining in fact i would actually hate it if it rained men not because i'm like homophobic but because I really would not like to see any men falling from the sky and landing on the ground. That sounds pitifully bad. Please don't hit me. I'm coming! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't hit me, can't hit me, can't hit me. Boom! That one hits like a truck, man. That one hits like a truck. No matter how many auto attacks you do or how many, how many abilities you hit, my one will always outdo you. Remember that. Remember that next time you have any kind of positive thought about this video game in your mind. Remember, I will always outdo you. What's up, doofus? All right, I got red buff. I got red buff. By the way, I'm not talking about you guys. You guys will outdo me. I've had many, many times where... um. A viewer has been like, bro, you got me into duel. And then they like completely wiped the floor with me. But I'm talking about this Chiron. This Chiron is not going to outdo me. Because I'm the best. And honestly, better than all the rest. You don't scare me. You do not scare me. BBNJ pancakes. You tried, but did not succeed. Maybe next time will be better for thee. But probably not. Honestly, I'm pretty nuts, though. This might be a fiver. It's looking like it might be a fiver. And if it is a fiver, I'll have you know, I'm proud of it. The 2000 MMR Hunter. And uh, I'm Ravana. So <laughs> I am. I, I would be proud of the fiver. He might be going Boomba Spear. I know a lot of people go Boomba Hammer, and Boomba Hammer is probably still the best play to do in duel. But um, the meta in Conquest is Boomba Spear, so he might be uh, might be hitting up some some Conquest meta. Might be hitting up a little bit of Conquest meta. I'm not sure. He does have more stacks than me on that Transcendence. But that being said, it's not too big of a deal just because of the fact that I have the Tier Two Yotens already. Oh, excuse me. I have the Tier Two Yotens already, and he definitely doesn't. So. All right, he's just running. He's running. Uh, there's really no farm on the map. I could do bull demon. I suppose I might as well. He did just back. There's no reason not to do bull demon, I guess. I already warded to make sure he can't come in and steal it. He might alt it. If he does, then honestly good on him. I wouldn't even be mad about it. But he didn't get here in time, unfortunately for him, but definitely fortunately for me. Um, he did clear the wave very fast, so I have to run this direction in order to get the wave instead of the other direction to be more aggressive, which I would have liked to run the other direction. Uh, melee minions, you can hit my tower. That's fine. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. He probably backed, it looks like, to get that tier two defense to defend his Tyo. I was going to say Titan, but meant tower. Okay. All right. I mean, that's, that's his dash, right? So, like... He just loses this fight, right? There's no way he wins this fight. I don't need a relic up to win this fight. I, th I think that's what he doesn't understand. Winning this fight is is pitifully easy for me and very difficult for him. My main goal is just to make sure that he understands he cannot get close enough to use his one. You don't scare me. All right. We touched him and he died. 
He actually didn't surrender, which is really surprising. I would have assumed he would have surrendered there. Especially with how, like, demoralizing that death was, where I just kind of walked up and poked him and then went back to hitting his tower. He said, yo! <laughs> That's funny, actually. That's pretty funny. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go Crusher here into a Breastplate because I want that cooldown online. I don't want to go Jotun's <coughs> because I want Breastplate. I'm gonna go Blink too because Blink is sick. I've been watching you literally since Season 2. That's actually crazy. Yo, Golden Bolts are going back up. I'm gonna need you to nominate me. You've been a fan since season two. I know you're going to. I know you're going to, but just in case. Just in case, you never know. I gotta make sure these people know. Bro, I watch videos. I watch way too many hours of your videos. Ah, no such thing as way too many. All content consumed from the dude is intelligent content, intellectual content even, and will be, uh, what, what is it called? I defended you in the comments from the asshole calling you a racist. Oh. Thank you. Sorry, I lose you recording. I am recording. All right, let's game. Let's game. I'll try my bad. You're good. You're good, brother. All right. <sighs> let's go back. There's nothing up on the map for me right now. So we're going to go ahead and head back. Um. Oh, he got the breastplate online. That's actually going to be a pretty big issue because that means his dash is going to be up 20% more. And that dash is pretty much the only thing that could save him from a lifetime of pain at the moment. I do want to blink on him here, but he's playing pretty defensive. All right. Oh, mistake. He walked up. He walked up. That's a mistake. He's like can root and he has nothing. He has nothing. And there it is, baby. My damage. I, d I went Crusher for the attack speed because I have Mannequin Scepter. And I'm going to go Stone Cutting as well because I think... Uh, I believe that auto attack is actually very, very strong. I went Transcendence because early game... Um, early game, Ravana, his abilities obviously are the majority of his damage. But later in the game, like the longer this game goes, the more I want to transition to an auto attack based build. So I want to go Stone Cutting Sword. I want to go Mannequin's Mace, and I probably want to go Serrated Edge uh, as well, because that's going to give me a little bit of life steal and uh, penetration. So that's, I think that's what my build is going to be. I'll recap it real quick, just in case you didn't get that. I'm going to go Stone Cutting, Serrated Edge, and Mannequin's Mace to finish off my build. Mannequin's Mace will basically cap me off at double defense, which is, you know, ideal against a hunter. Um, the Crusher and the Transcendence are going to carry my ability damage. And um, the Crusher is giving me all the attack speed I need in order to make Stone Cutting work. So Stone Cutting and Serrated aren't going to give me a whole bunch of attack speed. But what they will do is give me a whole bunch of damage on my auto attacks. So Crusher, again, giving me that attack speed I need to make this kind of attack speed transition work. And that's, uh, that's the build. I mean, nothing really that crazy about it. Pretty generic build, but... It does have require some thought because uh, a lot of times you do have to transition from ability based into auto attack based and um, people kind of take that a little bit too literal sometimes and um, and they'll go like like they'll sell their crusher or they'll sell their transcendence and try to go into like a kins and an executioner and an aussie and stuff like that but that's not really what it means. All you're trying to do when you transition from damage to, uh, or from ability damage to attack speed, all you're really trying to do is, um, make your auto attacks hit hard enough to be considered an auto -er. You know what I mean? So, that's what we're doing here. His dash is down. Should be dead. Uh, he does a breastplate, so that 20% cooldown. Yep, coming in clutch right there. I was worried it might save him, but actually it's 30% cooldown because he does have that Evolved Transcendence that I just remembered. And I'm at 30% cooldown as well because I have the Evolved Transcendence too. My next item, like I said, I, I'm not sure if I want Serrated or Stone Cutting next. I know I want both of them, but I'm not sure which one is more important immediately. My assumption is Serrated is more important immediately. 
I used my one for the slow there, by the way. I know, um, I know he immuned it, right? Like he, he ages the damage of it, but it wasn't for the damage. It was for the slow. You're not CC immune when you ages. You used to be actually, um, and a lot of people still feel like they, they should be when they ages, they should be CC immune, but you're definitely not anymore. Um, I think they took that out in like season three. So it's definitely been a while, but yeah, so I definitely can't win the game here. Actually, I didn't know. I thought he was dead for another 10 seconds, but it was only another one. His dash is down. I could definitely fight this. Let's see if he gets aggressive. He is getting aggressive, so we are going to fight this. No root. Uh, he's got dash up here, so. That two was doing way more damage than he expects. That two hit him a lot harder than he expected. I'm sure he thought he could take the two and then dash away. I'm actually not going to end here because I do want to. I would. I do want to show off the build, transitioning to an auto attack build. Um, it's not an attack speed item, right? But like you go stone cutting and then you buy tier two or tier one of this because the reason you do it this way is because they both give 7% move speed at max, but stone cutting is cheaper and tier one gives 3% move speed. So instead of going, uh, instead of getting 7% move speed, I'm actually getting 10% with it, with this purchase order. Um, so I'm getting a, a more immediate, I, I suppose, um, power spike. Now, serrated edge does give you more damage than stone cutting overall but on that third auto i think after the second auto stone cutting starts being better so i think it's okay especially because with ravana's auto attack chain um as you see here it's 0.75 and then 0.5 his first two autos get thrown out really really quick so you can stack up that stone cutting passive really really fast giving you extra protection and um an extra damage or not really extra damage but shredding their protection which does in turn give you extra damage so i guess i was right technically the first time let's cut him off he was unexpected he dashes but i can root that dash and that is gonna give us the double u now i will end the game here hopefully I don't think that there's really anything else I need to show off. I mean, Serrated Edge, obviously, you know I'm going that item next. So it's not like I need to wait to show you guys that. I did just want to show you, though, that um, with that auto attack chain and the stone cutting and the crusher giving you the attack speed, it all kind of works together. GG and his honor being farmed. GG, Giga Gamer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to comment down below if you did nominate or comment down below if you think I'm an ugly piece of garbage and you're not going to nominate me. Either way, I want to know. Thank you guys in advance. And uh, I love you as always. And until next time, guys, peace.